Hey there folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more animal health tips and tricks, and a big shout out to all our returning subscribers, your support means the world to us. So, today I'm diving into a topic that's crucial for cattle farmers, bottle jaw. Ever noticed a swelling under your cattle's jaw that looks like a water bottle? That's what we call bottle jaw, and it's something you need to address ASAP. Bottle jaw is a condition where fluid accumulates under the lower jaw of cattle. It's usually a sign of severe anemia, often caused by internal parasites like liver flukes or barber pole worms, but it could also be due to malnutrition or other health issues that affect blood protein levels. The primary culprits are parasites. When cattle graze on contaminated pastures, they ingest these parasites. These parasites then damage the gut lining, causing blood loss and leading to anemia. Other causes could include liver disease, severe infection, or even poor diet. Now what should you look out for? Besides the obvious swelling under the jaw, affected cattle may show signs of weakness, weight loss, pale gums and lethargy. If you spot any of these, it's time to take action. Caption Treatment Options Let's talk treatment. First things first, you need to deworm your cattle. Consult your vet for the right deworming schedule and medications. Also, consider rotational grazing to reduce parasite load in your pastures. In severe cases, your vet might recommend blood transfusions or other supportive treatments. Ensure your cattle get a balanced diet rich in protein and minerals to help them recover. Prevention is always better than cure, right? Regularly deworm your herd based on a vet-approved schedule. Practice rotational grazing and avoid overgrazing to minimize parasite exposure. Keep an eye on your cattle's overall health and nutritional status. So there you have it, everything you need to know about bottle jaw in cattle. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful and share it with your fellow farmers. Got any questions or tips of your own? Drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos on animal health and farming practices. Thanks for watching and see you next time.